Michael Nesmith explains exactly why the monkeys were as big as they were. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. There's a great interview with the musician in Mojo Magazine where he talks about the ups and downs, special guests they had on the Monkees program, and why the band became so popular so fast. We'll get to that in a minute. Whether you grew up in the 60s or 70s, the Monkees were in your path. Their TV show aired on NBC from September 12, 1966 to March 25, 1968. Not exactly a long tenure, but it did have a huge effect on the band's breakthrough. The show and the group were kind of modeled after Beatles films like A Hard Day's Night from 64 and Help from 1965 via, of course, weekly hijinks. So Mojo asked him if there was some kind of strange fate that got the boys together. Mickey Dolenz, Peter Tork, Davy Jones, and Nesmith. He says, We were all quite different, and we were all cast to be quite different. It was not a mistake or a serendipity. The show's producers threw a very wide net. There was no feeling like the stars had aligned the way they did with the Beatles or the Birds or the Stones. If you'll forgive me, a homely metaphor. It was like being ingredients in a soup. Television was the soup. And if one of us was the potato, the other the turnip. But we were all the soup. And what was it that made the Monkees TV show such a phenomenon? Nesmith says, I feel somewhat conceitedly or modestly that I know exactly what it was. It was television. Television had a place in the American psyche that was dominant. It controlled the American thinking. At that time, television was the high-speed medium. It had elected a president. It buried a president. And we were starting to take a look at who we were through its prism. All one has to do is go back and look up the top 10 shows at that time and you will see the culture memes buried there, the icons that came forward from it, and also see cultural philosophies of the time. We have the same scale of single ideas on our internet now, but there's a huge spread online. Nothing quite comes together like 74 million people watching The Beatles on Ed Sullivan. Nesmith also says he has a sense of duty to preserve what the monkeys were and are, adding, you were always sad to see a part of your life go. And Davy had a family, so it had all the usual accoutrements of sad, sorrowful things. But the monkeys was not ours. The monkeys belonged to Screen Gems Television, and now it really belongs to the fans. The fans own it completely, emotionally and financially in a way. As long as the fans own it, I'm up for coming on and playing my part. It's a great interview. We'll have a link to Mojo in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.